Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this large zipper tote bag. There's not only a zipper at the top, but there's also a zipper on the pocket on the outside of the bag. So let's get started. When you're looking at fabrics for the outside of the bag, look for a heavy fabric. For instance, this fabric here is fabric that's polyester and it's used on outdoor furniture cushions. Or get a canvas. If you select a really lightweight fabric, you may want to consider getting heavy iron-on interfacing or a lightweight interfacing depending on the thickness of your fabric. So you'll need the following pieces. Two that are 18 by 21. One this is for the pocket that is 9 by 9 inch square. And then there's an inside band. You'll need two pieces that are 3 by 21. You'll need two pieces of lining fabric that is also 18 by 21, one 18 inch zipper, and one 7 inch zipper. This is purse strapping. You can get this at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts, and I got this giant roll of this on Amazon.com. So shop around for your strapping, but you're going to need for this bag three and one quarter yards. Have both of your fabrics together, and on the two lower bottom corners, you're going to cut a two inch square out. So place your ruler there and I've got a two inch area lined up and draw a line around it. Then cut the square out so that it looks like this. So again, the two bottom lower corners. Your pocket fabric. Fold one edge over about a quarter inch to half inch and then take your zipper and you're going to place it on one side of the zipper and center it on your fabric. Then you're going to stitch along this edge right in here. And when you're stitching, make sure you put on your zipper foot so that you can easily get close to that edge and it won't have to rock it forth back and forth over the actual zipper itself. Have the back side of your pocket fabric facing up and you're going to fold the lower edge one quarter inch and press, then fold it again and press. Then you're going to stitch right along this folded edge all the way across. Center your uh, pocket where you would like it to be. And mine's roughly six, six and a quarter inches from each side. And there's about four or five inches on each side of the top and the bottom. So after you've got it placed, then mark with pins where the zipper is, right here next to this zipper. Lift the pocket up and pull it back towards you. And you're going to lay this zipper right, not quite on the edge of the zipper teeth, leave a little bit of space so that you will be able to fold it over again. So you want to leave a little bit of space. Then go ahead and pin it down so that you don't forget where you wanted it. And then go to your sewing machine and stitch along here. Again, do not sew too close to the zipper teeth. You want to stay back a little ways from it. Fold it back over and make sure that you can easily open and close the zipper. Pin and stitch the lower bottom edge of the pocket down and then stitch along this folded edge here. Place the strap starting at the bottom edge of the bag and you're going to go right over the edge of the pocket along here on each side. Then you're just going to bring it and loop it up around and go back down the other side. As you can see, the strapping goes right along very close to the ends of the zipper. Stitch on both sides of the strap. So you're going to start at the bottom edge, 
starting on this side, stitch up. You're going to stop two inches away from this top edge of the bag, then go across the strap and then back down the other side of the strap. Then come back up here to the top. So you've already stitched across here. Now you're going to stitch down an inch from corner to corner go across and come back up again then go across that top stitch line and this whole section here is then reinforced so you want to do that on both sides of the strap after stitching the strap on this side of the bag then put the strap on your other piece of fabric for the other side of the bag I wanted to show you that stitch pattern a little close up here so you stitched up stitched across, stitched back down. Then you came back up here, stitched down to this corner, across this way, back up, and across over again. Bring both sides of the bag front side together, and then pin along the sides and the lower edge. Then stitch one half inch seam on the sides and the bottom edge. Now you're going to stitch the two lower bottom corners together. So you're going to open the corners up like this and pull it apart, bringing the two seams together along the side and the bottom. And you're going to pin the seams open like you see here on both sides. And then stitch one half inch seam along there. And again, do this at both lower bottom corners. Bring the front sides of the lining together. And you're going to do the corners just like you did on the outside of the bag. So make sure you cut out two inch squares on the two lower bottom corners. Then pin the two sides and the bottom edge and stitch one half inch. Then after you do that, then close up your corners just like you did on the fabric for the outside of the bag. Open the bag to the front side and this is what the bottom of the bag should look like. This is the lining and the back side or wrong side of your fabric is still out. Take that lining and insert it inside of the bag. Then match up the seams of the lining and the fabric for the outside and pin the seams open. After you've pinned the sides together, your side seams open, then go ahead and pin the whole top edge together, the lining, all the way around. Now I'm using that outdoor fabric, it's a polyester, and by the time I got to working with this top edge, it was really unraveling a lot for me. So if you are using this polyester outdoor fabric or a canvas or something that's going to unravel extremely, you may either want to serge this top edge or do a zigzag stitch. If you're not having an issue with that, still go ahead and do a machine basting stitch around the top edge so it's easier to stick the band on. These are the two strips for the band that go on the inside of the bag. And do a zigzag stitch on the two long edges on each piece. Then on one side of each piece, fold the edge over to the back side and stitch down along this edge here. And again, you do it on both pieces. Now have front sides up. And here are the two folded edges. Place your zipper in here and center the zipper on the strips. And you will have extra fabric hanging out at both ends. Then you're going to place that folded edge up near the zipper teeth. And you can go ahead and use pins if you need to to hold it on. And remember, make sure you have excess fabric hanging out at each end. After pinning it down on one side, then go ahead and use your zipper foot. Here's a zipper foot in case you want to know what it is. It's a narrow foot and you're going to use this so that you can get fairly close to the zipper teeth 
along the front, or excuse me, along the edge. Then take your other piece and do the same thing. Stitch it on all the way down. Here's the front side of the zipper, and then here's the back. Now turn it over to the front side, and now you're going to fold it in half, bringing each end together. So, stitch one half inch seam down here, and then also down here. Then, where the zipper is, stitch in here real close to the folded edge, up about a half inch away from where the zipper starts, and do that at this end also. Undo the zipper on the band, and then you're going to slip that band over the outside of the bag. So here is the zipper teeth right here, So, and this is the raw edge. Match your side seams and pin the seams open. Continue pinning all around the top edge, and then stitch one half inch seam all the way around. Fold the band to the inside, and here's your zipper right along here. Fold the edges and place pins to hold the edges folded over. Then from the top edge, come down about a quarter of an inch and stitch all the way around the top edge of the bag. Here's what it looks like on the inside when the zipper is closed. If you are interested in other tote bag projects, go to the green screen at the end of this video and click on the links. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address, click on that little bell so you receive email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing!